Hello, I'm Atuba George and I'm so glad to be bringing God's truth to you today. Can we call for that delivery right now? Because we, we've got a lot to share with you, praise God. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Say this with me, say, Father, I receive right now my daily bread. It's coming to me. Oh, I receive every one of it in Jesus' name. Amen. Man, praise God. And we bless you, Father, for today. Your truth is marching on. It's marching on in our hearts. And we, your children, are bringing forth your truth and demonstrating it to the world. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. Now, we are talking about walking in love. And, and we established yesterday that love is ability. And, 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 and is, sorry, love is responsibility. Now, that is another definition of love. It is responsibility, taking responsibility of the one you say you love. Now, hear me, hear me, and hear me good. We gave example yesterday about God. God showed responsibility towards humanity. And what did he do? He produced, he showed ability, and then he showed willingness. And because he was willing, he responded with his ability to solve man's issue, which was sin. He dealt with sin, dealt with condemnation, delivered us from the power of death and the power of hell because he had the ability to do it and he was willing to respond with that ability now in in john let, let's say john chapter 15 oh brateke barneke to zafekila brahada hashaya grown de sapa verse 13 john 15 13 jesus speaking here he says greater love had no man than this there is nothing greater than this no love is greater than this and remember jesus said um, there is no greater commandment than love and then he now says there is no love greater than this than what that a man laid down his life for his friends Greater love has no one than this, that a man lays down his life for his friends. So who showed the greatest love? Because Jesus said there is no greater love than this. So who have shown the greatest love? It's God. See that now? God showed the greater love. And, and Jesus here referring to himself because that's exactly what he did. He laid down his life for the people he called his friends so he says there is no greater love than this that's why i told you that if god is not in it then love is not in it you can't get love from anywhere else no one has shown love greater than jesus no one has shown love greater than god because it was god who demonstrated love and gave us jesus and because jesus is born of god he too had love in himself because he was dwelling in God. So because he dwelled in God, he could show the greatest love in humanity. Mm. What Jesus did for us, he did as a man. So Jesus said, no man, no man has shown a greater love than this. That's what it says. Greater love had no man than this. No man. That a man should lay down his life for his friends. In human sphere, he wasn't referring to God right now. He was referring to him as a man but you see why was jesus able to demonstrate that love i wanted to i want to explain something to you jesus could demonstrate that love because he was born of god number one number two he dwelt in god now here's the secret of love 
The secret of love is truth. The secret of love is truth. Now, Jesus knew because he dwelt in God. Holy Spirit, give us understanding. Some things are, they are just too deep for human explanation. I mean, okay, let me try. So, Jesus was dwelling in truth. And in truth, he knew that God is the author of life. God is the source of life. And now, he as a man, Jesus now, was willing to give his life, lay down his life for his friends. Was he planning to lose his life for his friends? The answer is no. How could you lay down your life without losing it? Because if you lose your life, it's still a loss. <sighs> Listen. <laughs> this is love. And I said, love functions by truth. So, Jesus laid down his life for his friends. But make no mistakes about it. He knew he wasn't losing his life for his friends. If he loses his life or he, he lost his life for his friends, there is still a loss. Are you getting what I'm saying? And love. There is no loss in love. Aya brado sieta anabarosi ke yalabasi agada. Hear me. There is no loss in love. Can you let that sink in your heart? You know, 1 John tells us there is no fear in love. Now, if you are going to lose something, then that means what 1 John said, that there is no fear in love, is a lie. Because if you're going to lose something, then definitely there is fear. Are you getting what I'm saying? Because you lose something. So Jesus demonstrating his love by laying down his life for his friends had no fear that he was going to lose his life. Why? Because he was dwelling in God who is the source of life. And, and he knew that in his demonstration of love, laying down his life, the source of life that he is connected to will give him back that life. <laughs> Are these things confusing you? <laughs> Are you getting it at all? <laughs> so when Jesus said, no man has a greater love than this, that a man should lay down his life, for he used the word lay down, lay down, put it down so that the friends could see and get up. Now, after he puts it down and they see now, get up, he, you know, Jesus said, this thing I've received from my father, he gave me the power to lay down my life. He gave me the power to take it up again. Now, here's, this, here's how this thing works. So now I have, I have, I have a millionaire, for example, and Maybe it's my savings. I just have a millionaire somewhere. And I have a friend who has a problem and a millionaire will solve his problem. So what do I do? Okay. Um, I don't want my friend to fall in that situation. I want to help him. So I look at my one million and I say, Hmm. 
If I give you this one million now, all the things I wanted to do that I was saving the money for, I can't do it anymore. And then you go, hmm, is it worth it? But I don't want my friend to be in this trouble. You know what I'm going to do? I'll let go of all those plans and I'll give him the one million now. Now, as sweet as that may sound, it is not perfected love. Now, the friend may receive the one million and say, oh, you mean you took all the sacrifice for me? Yeah, because you are my friend. You see, but love is not perfected in that situation. <clears throat> I'll tell you what perfected love is. Perfected love, I told you, first of all, ability. Now, and then that ability must come from God. If it is not from God, then it is not love. It's something else. So now I have a million and, and my friend needs one million. And I, I, I sit down and I, okay, if I give him this one million, now, what's going to happen? Now, what do I do? I turn to the one in whom I dwell in. And I say, Father, I need to help this, my friend. You are the supplier of all things. So, Lord, I'm going to sow this as a seed to my friend's life. I was keeping this money for this, this, and this. And Lord, you know what? You can provide all these things for me. Because so, I need my friend to be delivered from this debt or from this situation that he's found himself in. So Lord, I'm sowing this, my one millionaire, as a seed in your name into his life. And Lord, I receive. Oh, Boko Pariti. I receive. And, and why you are doing that? Like, you're not talking to your friend yet. You are talking to the Lord in whom you dwell. Notice that's what it means to dwell in God. In all your ways. Acknowledge. So I want to give my friend this one million. And I'm going to acknowledge him first. Acknowledge him as what? As the provider. As the one who meets my needs. He, is, he meets my needs. It's not the fact that I've saved up one million that my needs will be met. Is the fact that I look at him and I trust him who meets all my needs. Are you getting what I'm saying? So I say, okay, you know what? Thank you, Lord. And I feel, because you, you, you sense it. I sense that joy in my spirit. I, I see it and I hear the word of the Lord concerning it. The Lord says, go ahead and do it, son. I say, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Then I go to my friend. I say, hey, take Go solve that issue. Just go solve that. He said, I, I, I thought that's all you had. Then relax. Watch out. More will come. <laughs> Praise God. Uh, he said, but I thought you were keeping that money for this thing. He said, yeah. But because you know God will supply all those things. He, he will supply. What did he say? He said, we should seek first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. So what am I doing now? I'm seeking the kingdom of God where you are concerned. Because maybe he's owing some money or, and, and, say, and they are coming to arrest him. You know? And I say, I'm, I'm seeking your freedom, which is the kingdom of which is what the kingdom of God represents. And I'm, and I'm seeking it and doing God's righteousness. God will not want you to get in that trouble. So I'm, and then God, guess what? All those things shall be added unto me. Now, when this is my conviction in the demonstration of love, guess what? I'm walking in perfection of love. You know why? Because there is no fear in that love that I just demonstrated. You see that? Now? So when Jesus was going to the cross, there was no fear in his heart. Why? Perfect love was walking in him. Hallelujah. He was perfected in love. And that's what God wants us to do. He wants us to be perfected in love. Hey, that's why a husband can love his wife, Carlo Prada, without complaining, without saying, oh, no, 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 no. It, it's, it's your responsibility to love your wife. It's your responsibility. And what is it? What does it say? Love is responsibility. So, husband, create the ability to meet the love needs of your wife. Create the ability. You can create it. How? From God. And wife, you don't accept a man when he says he loves you until you realize he's got the ability. Especially to you single ladies. 
because it's from that ability now he can begin to love his neighbor which is you and others as he loves himself thank you lord jesus is this making sense now praise god oh father we honor your word it is building us up mightily and we see the fruits in jesus name amen i'll see you tomorrow god bless you bye bye